Pamela Smart wasn't happy when her husband Greg chopped off his wild hair, gave up his bad boy image, and became an insurance salesman. She was even less thrilled when weeks before their first anniversary, Greg admitted he cheated on her. Angry, Pamela did what any reasonable 22-year-old teacher would do. She manipulated her 15-year-old lover into murdering her husband. The teenager was Billy Flynn, a student at Winnicott High School in Hampton, New Hampshire. Smart was the school's media service director, and Flynn spent his free time helping her create educational videos. Flynn learned quite a bit from his teacher, and after an evening watching the erotic drama Nine and a Half Weeks, the two had sex in Pamela's condo. From then on, Smart had Flynn wrapped around her finger, and several rendezvous later, she laid down an ultimatum. Get rid of Greg, or their relationship was over. Convinced Greg was abusing Pamela, Flynn agreed to do the dirty deed, asking two buddies to help out. With Smart's coaching, the trio decided to make the execution look like a burglary gone wrong. On May 1st, 1990, Smart left the back door of her condo unlocked, and Flynn and his friend, Randall, snuck inside while a third accomplice waited with the getaway car. When Greg came home from work, the teens rested him to the ground with a bullet in his skull. However, Smart's scheme crumbled pretty quickly. Detectives felt Smart was too apathetic about her husband's death and noticed that she casually drunk back and forth over the blood stains in her living room. Their suspicions were confirmed when they wired Smart's best friend, Cecilia Price with a microphone. The mic caught Pamela implicating herself and the high school teacher was charged with murder. Thanks to the tapes and Flynn's testimony, Pamela got life without parole. As for the teens, they were sentenced to 28 years to life.